The Mudumalai National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary also a declared tiger reserve, lies on the northwestern side of the Nilgiri Hills Blue Mountains, in Nilgiri District, about 150 kilometres northwest of Coimbatore City in Tamil Nadu. It shares its boundaries with the states of Karnataka and Kerala. The sanctuary is divided into five ranges, Masinagudi, the Pakadu, Mudumalai, Kargudi and Nelakota. The protected area is home to several endangered and vulnerable species including Indian elephant, Bengal tiger, gaur and Indian leopard. There are at least 266 species of birds in the sanctuary, including critically endangered Indian white rumped vulture and long billed vulture. The Western Ghats Nilgiri sub cluster of 6,000 square kilometres, 2,300 square miles, including all of Mudumalai National Park, is under consideration by the UNESCO World Heritage Committee for selection as a World Heritage Site. Mudumalai Tiger Reserve There are 48 tigers in the Nilgiri Reserve across which tigers are free to roam. History In April 2007, the Tamil Nadu state government declared Mudumalai to be a tiger reserve, under Section 38 volts of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, in an effort to conserve the country's dwindling tiger populations. Subsequently, about 350 families living in the core area were evicted from the park and given 10 lakh Indian rupees compensation. Those in the 5 km buffer area around the park fear they, too, will be evicted, nobody will be dislodged from the buffer zone. In fact, some people in this zone will become trackers and guides to enhance their income through eco-tourism. Continuance of Project Tiger in Mudumalai Tiger Reserve for FY 2010-11 at the cost of 4 crore Indian rupees was approved by the National Tiger Conservation Authority on the 16th of September 2010. Topic: <laughs> Flora There are three main types of forest in the sanctuary. Tropical moist deciduous occur in the western Ben block, where rainfall is higher than in the other blocks. Tropical dry deciduous forest occurs in the middle and southern tropical dry thorn forests are in the east. In addition there are patches of tropical semi-evergreen forest in the southwest and western part of Mudumalai. The annual rainfall there exceeds 2,000 mm Tree species in this habitat include Casaria ovoides, Litsia mysorensis, Cinnamomum malabatrum, and Alia dioca. Climbers, including Sneeze wart, Dregia volubilis, Genetum ula, and Entata scandens, are also found in these semi evergreen forests. Moist bamboo brakes are found amidst dry deciduous, moist deciduous, and semi evergreen forests and along the fringes of riparian forests and swamps. There are two species of bamboo found in Mudumalai, the giant clumping bamboos, Bambusa arindinacea, and Dendrocalamus strictus. Elephants and gaur eat both species of bamboo. In all types of forest, a green strip of riparian forest is seen along the shore of dry seasonal and perennial streams. This type of forest remains green in all seasons. The plant species found here includes, Mangifera indica, Pongamia glabra, Terminalia arjuna, Syzygium cumini, Indian rosewood Dalbergia latifolia and the bamboos. Larger mammals such as elephant, gaur, sambar and tiger use riparian forest patches for feeding and resting. This sanctuary is home to several species of wild relatives of cultivated plants including wild rice, wild ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, selenum, guava, mango and pepper that act as a reserve gene pool for the cultivated plants. In places mixed vegetation types are present. The deciduous trees shed their green leaves during the summer, and adopt a floral garb while the arrival of the monsoons hails fruits and tender greens. Fauna There is a high diversity of animal life in the sanctuary with about 50 species of fishes, 21 species of amphibians, 34 species of reptiles, 227 species of birds and 55 species of mammals. Mammal diversity is higher in the dry deciduous and dry thorn forests than in the other habitats. 13% of all mammal species in India are present in Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary. 
Of 15 cat species in India, four live in Mudumalai, Bengal tiger, Indian leopard, jungle cat and leopard cat. There are 44 to 80 tigers in the Mudumalai forest. The single largest tiger population in India includes the Mudumalai tigers. These tigers are a breeding source for populating the northern and eastern parts of the western Ghats. This population exists at high density due to the high density of prey species thriving in its deciduous forests. The Indian leopard P. Partis fusca NT is most often seen in the Kargudi area. Other carnivores include the dole, goon alpinus V, the striped hyena 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 NT, the golden jackal Canis aureus and the sloth bear Melursus ursinus V. The population of Indian elephants, Elephus maximus indicus E, totals several hundred animals. Three primates found here include the grey langur Semnopithecus priam and the bonnet macaque Macaca radiata. Important prey animals for large carnivores here are the ungulates including the gaur Bos gorus V, the sambar deer Cervus unicolor Vu, the chital deer Axis axis, Indian muntjac Muntiacus muntjac, the Indian spotted chevrotain Machiola indica, and the wild boar Sus scrofa, all of whom are common here. Rodents include the Indian giant squirrel Ratufa indica maxima and the red giant flying squirrel Petorista petorista. Some reptiles found here are the python, flying lizard, spectacled cobra, krite and Asian pit vipers. The monitor lizard is the most regularly observed species. Avifauna <inaudible> 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 8% of bird species in India occur in the Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary. Among the 227 bird species found in Mudumalai, 110 species are insectivores, 62 are carnivores, 23 species are fishivores, 12 species are omnivores and 20 species are granivores. These include the unique near-threatened black and orange flycatcher. Regional endemics include Malabar trogon and Malabar grey hornbill. Some rare birds of prey like the rufous-bellied eagle can occasionally be seen in this sanctuary. Other predatory birds include crested hawk eagle, crested serpent eagle, changeable hawk eagle, black eagle, oriental honey buzzard, Jordan's baza, Bonelli's eagle, crested goshawk, besra, mottled wood owl and brown hawk owl, and several minivets. There are also hornbill, golden oriole, chloropsis, paradise flycatcher, golden-backed woodpecker Malabar great black woodpecker, blue-winged parakeet, fairy bluebird, jungle fowl racket-tailed drongo, peafowl, red spurfowl, gray franklin, painted spurfowl, painted bush quail, white-bellied woodpecker, lesser yellownape, golden woodpecker, streak-throated woodpecker, chestnut-headed bee-eater, emerald dove, green imperial pigeon, gray-fronted green pigeon, gray-bellied cuckoo, Indian cuckoo, alpine swift, Black hooded oriole, greater racket tailed drongo, black headed cuckooshrike, grey headed bulbul, forest wagtail, crimson backed sunbird, and lotton sunbird. It also holds the isolated southern population of the striped tit babbler. Threats Tourism, especially in the Sagur, Masinagudi area, is claimed by some to pose a threat to the region, but this is strongly repudiated by persons who live and work in the area. The extensive growth of invasive species, such as lantana, that hinder the natural regeneration process of the forests has occurred as a result of excessive cattle grazing. Construction activities of the proposed India-based neutrino observatory at Singara, Masinagudi, are likely to have significant impacts on the local wildlife. The five-year work plan, high volume of debris and waste disposal, blasting activities, extensive vehicular activity, and large number of outside workers and their support infrastructure all threaten to disrupt the wildlife corridor on the Sejur Plateau, including Mudumalai Sanctuary, connecting the Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. Documentary <inaudible> 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 A Day in Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve – A Lifescape 2 Experience See also List of birds of South India